starring Mackenzie Davis and also Christopher Abbott. Between watching them as this increasingly estranged couple, potentially toward the end of their relationship, honestly, to them trying to enjoy this vacation featuring a young woman in Namit with Abbott's character, <sighs> Swimming Home is definitely an odd movie. So, to summarize the film, Joe is a poet who hasn't produced much, if anything, in years, and Isabel is a notable war correspondent who is still very active in her field and is pretty much in and out of Joe and their daughter's life. This freedom that they give each other allows for some sense of stability, but it has also allowed the relationship to last much longer than it perhaps should have. But with the introduction of a character named Kitty, so comes the question if both may have settled for each other maybe too long and now enough is enough. So the first highlight is definitely going to be how intriguing Kitty is and that's because she's an immensely strange character who for a good part of the movie is just walking around new pubic hair out and all. And between her subtle relationship with Joe's daughter and her really picking at Joe in order to open up about his past and his childhood specifically, if it wasn't for the fact that sometimes Isabel talks to her, you may think that she was some type of imaginary thing that came from whatever Joe was drinking, eating, or whatever, because while there's not a significant amount of drug use in this film, Kitty really doesn't seem real. So when it comes to the next highlight, it's definitely going to be Mackenzie Davis as Isabel, and that's because, as Joe puts it, part of the appeal is that there is a mystery to her, and with you not having access to her mind, her feelings, or her motives, you get very much drawn in. And if you saw Station Eleven, which Mackenzie Davis was also in, there's just something about her and the way that she performs characters that make it so even though you're going to have so many questions like why is she not stepping in as Kitty comes off very enamored with her husband this just I don't know it's hard to really put in the words because again this is a very odd movie but Davis just saunters through it in such a way that it's when she's not there you're wondering what she's doing and when she's on screen even when it's her watching these very weird artsy performances you're still very much interested in what she's thinking why is she watching this and having all these questions that go unanswered but at the same time perhaps like Joe you're just so intrigued by her that you're willing to sit through boring nonsense in order to hopefully get some type of hint about what's happening so getting to the low point Pretty much it's Christopher Abbott as Joseph because even though he seemed like a potentially interesting actor after seeing him in Sanctuary with Marco Qualey and also with Aubrey Plaza and Danny the Deep Blue Sea, you would think that with the right actress, you know, he comes off like an interesting dude, but even with Mackenzie Davis being there, this man is dry. <laughs> There is no charisma, there's no energy, no sense of urgency, just nothing. And he drains all the life out of any scene you see him in in the 99 minutes of this movie. And he makes it feel so much longer. And truly, even with Kitty being this weird person who tries to make him seem more interesting by trying to push him to talk about his childhood, which would maybe bring some type of reason for you to become invested in him, nothing not a zip <laughs> which leads to an defense topic and that's that for reasons that don't fully make sense Isabel and Joseph's professor from college is sharing this vacation with them and then when it comes to the daughter honestly she just seems to exist purely to show that at one time Joseph and Isabel had sex and Mind you, this is based off of a book, so there's always a chance that our complaints about Joseph, the mystery that is Isabel, even to a point the mystery about Kitty, maybe the book contains details that were cut for time or else to fit a certain narrative. It's hard to say. But point of the matter is, 
these characters just don't really present a reason for existing in this film. And because, again, how dry Joseph makes this film to the point it seems longer, it makes anybody that's not trying to bring some kind of energy, trying to bring some type of injury, not injury, but intrigue, it makes them seem more so part of the problem than a potential solution or else a means of compensating for the character that Joe is. Hence why, overall, when it comes to Swimming Home, it is a film which definitely leans more towards being artsy in a movie that was made because of the passion somebody has for movie making than the type of film which has commercial possibilities that can resonate with a general audience.